BitSwap is the hottest new way to trade tokens. Crawling all the top decentralized exchanges, BitSwap will get you the very best price and value for your trades. BitSwap is changing the game. Try it now at BitSwapDex.com. Welcome to Rice TVX. On today's Rice Rewind, I am re-releasing my first interview with Reggie Middleton, the founder and CEO of Veritasium. He is also the inventor of distributed and decentralized finance. This interview was originally recorded September of 2018 when I was a contributor with World Alternative Media. Before we get into it, make sure you visit ricetvx.com and sign up for my mailing list so you never miss an update or new Rice TVX content. Plus, you can find my social media links, contact information, get Rice TVX merch coming soon via the shop, and more. If this is your first time ever watching any of my videos, check out and explore my channels. Make sure you subscribe to Rice TVX and Rice TVX too. Both can be found on YouTube and hit the notification bell to get alerted to new videos. Also, you can follow me on Odyssey and Library where I have my full catalog of videos plus extra content. And you can also find Rice TVX on BitChute. If you want to support Rice TVX and what I do directly, I have my PayPal, Cash App, plus my cryptocurrency addresses via my Cointree link below in the video description. You can also join my Patreon channel where you will get early access to some of my videos, exclusive content, and more, with four different levels of membership, all offering something different. If you are looking to purchase and invest in precious metals, gold and silver are both good safe haven assets to hedge against the financial collapse we are experiencing. Check out Money Metals Exchange. I partnered up with them and you can get a free half ounce of silver. Visit moneymetals.com, be a first time buyer, purchase a minimum of $100 and use the promo code RICE. You get a free half ounce of silver and it's another way to support the channel. Thanks for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. Chris Rice Crypto here with World Alternative Media. And as I said before, I'm going to be doing interviews with companies that are bringing use case to cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. And today I'm joined by Reggie Middleton. He is an entrepreneurial investor who has experience in advising and managing head funds, traders, investors, and global banks. He also guides a small team of independent analysts, engineers, and developers that are going to usher in an era of peer-to-peer -peer capital markets. He is the CEO and founder of a company called Veritasium. Reggie, thanks for joining me today. How are you doing? I'm doing well. It's good to be here. with the gadget so far. Right. A little bit of technology issues here. Uh, if you don't mind telling the audience, um, I wanted to uh, get a little bit of a, a basic idea of what Veritasium is trying to do what the goals you're trying to accomplish with this company. Okay. Well, Veritasium is a software platform and a consultancy. So um, we write software on top of public blockchains and we consult on the use of that software. And the overarching premise of the software is the usher in what we call the peer-to-peer -peer capital market. Uh, basically, um, this software allows you to do business directly with her without having to go through a middleman third party, an authoritative agent, an exchange, a bank, a broker, or anybody else. So Peter does business directly with Paul. Paul does business directly with Paulette. You reduce the cost of the third parties, you reduce the friction from the third parties, you reduce the risk, um, counterparty risk, credit risk, and everything that goes along with it. Um, before the advent of the blockchain, this was impossible because two separate unknown or disparate parties always needed that third middleman, that third party to connect them right. and to facilitate the transaction. Now you could do it through the blockchain. Um, you could do business with a total stranger. You don't have to worry about them not paying you, about having bad credit, about malfeasance and all these other things because not only does the blockchain enable the transaction, um, it could control the blockchain transaction with a smart contract, which is basically an agreement that's written in computer code that executes automatically. And 
right? That small contract with the blockchain can hold capital, can hold money. <clears throat> so now the full ecosystem of the uh, transaction is controlled um, by the blockchain and the smart contract. And it takes the need to trust somebody else out of the equation. So you don't need to trust your counterparty. You don't need to trust your broker. You don't need to trust an exchange. You don't need to trust anybody but math. I like that. <clears throat> you know, math, we can definitely trust math. I definitely believe in math. And I, I noticed that one of the goals of Veritasium was to, like you said, to eliminate brokers, financial advisors, banks, and middlemen. And the one thing that I noticed with that is that you're, this is a, even though that Veritasium is a centralized platform, that you're not trying to take over these roles. You're just providing a software platform that allows people to be able to interact in this way. Is that correct? Yeah. Well, Veritasium is not a centralized platform. Um, Veritasium is a for-profit company, and <clears throat> we, you know, write software. We allow full distribution, not even decentralization, decentralization, but full distribution of assets and ownership. Um, before um, our venture, I'd say, um, the concept of ownership was pretty much bidimensional. Um, you either owned something or you didn't. It was possible to own something but not have possession of it. Okay, but that's pretty much the only way to, to slice and dice the pie. Now with Veritasium, you know, one person can own an asset, another person can have possession of it, a third person can have control of it, and a fourth person can actually have custody of it. And you can mix and match all four of those aspects, um, combine them, separate them, slice them, dice them, and recombine them. Um, this is capable on a very granular level. And so when you do business, you can still control and maintain custody and position your assets or pass it to others throughout the whole universe. Everybody can do this. So um, from an asset perspective, okay, it's fully distributed. Everybody maintains control, ownership, and custody and possession of the assets. And then they granularly give the and divvy that out as they see fit, okay? Now, a lot of the tech-specific people may think of Veritasium as centralized because, you know, we don't, um, we're, not, uh, we're not a not-for-profit or we don't have a foundation, et cetera. But, you know, that's not our business model. Our business model is a for-profit entity, but we enable everybody to make control of their assets. Okay. okay? That's distribution or decentralization on steroids. I got you. That's a good way of putting it. Um, so now, what are some of the what are some of the services and products that Veritasium is offering currently? Okay. Well, you have uh, what we call the VEDA, and that's an acronym for Veritasium's Autonomous Distributed Interactive Research. Um, Veritasium is the name of the company. Autonomous in that everybody can act as their own self sovereign entity, your own little bank or exchange. It's interactive because we issue research from our analysts. I'm renowned for calling for Bear Stearns and Lehman Brothers and the housing crash and real estate crash, et cetera, et cetera. We've gotten pretty good at that. We issue this research, but you can interact with the research. So it's not about, about just downloading a PDF and reading it. You can download a PDF and read it, but then you can tell our system smart contracts to go in and buy the assets that that research um, says is of value and then create a model portfolio of which you can take your money and put it into the smart contract and replicate that portfolio to the best of its ability. So now, not only reading research, you're actually truly consuming it from an interactive level. Uh, so it's like combining a hedge fund with a research firm, you know, um, and you have still maximum control, maximum practical control of your assets. So a hedge fund, you have a three, five, seven year lockup, um, fees, et cetera. With the VEDA software, there is no lockup. You could go in anywhere from one minute to 99 years. You could break the contract because the contract is essentially with yourself. You can even take direct delivery of the assets that were purchased. So with a hedge fund, you put me in a hedge fund, it buys Apple stock, it levels up on Apple stock. You want to get out, it sells the Apple stock, sends you your money back. You have the option of having the VEDA sell the Apple stock if it were to be Apple stock, not necessarily could be on crypto, et cetera, and give you the money back or you can opt, take the Apple stock and send it directly to your wallet. Okay, that's a monumental 
sea change in the way things are done in business. So that's one. We have Veritasium Research, which is another product. We have uh, Veritasium Rental, which allows you to rent the components that allow you to participate in the VEDA, whether it's capital or the prepaid fee, which is our token, the very tokens. We have uh, very asset, VE assets, and that is um, the ability to veritize, which is our name for tokenizing, hard assets. And the first one is VE Gold, where we've tokenized um, 99.9, but 99.99% fine gold. We created a token. That token represents title to ownership of Seiko, which is stored in a vault, a coming to proof vault, guarded by Brinks, insured by Lloyds, um, and it's approved, LBA, LBMA, and coming to proof. The storage, um, the delivery, everything is all part of the product. So when you give us, say you give us money, give us $200, you buy an ounce of gold, you get a VE gold token representing one ounce, right? right? You have full ownership of that. We act only as a custodian. You have full ownership of that gold. It could be redeemable at any time. Just send the token back to us, pass it in on KYC, and um, we ship the gold to you as long as you're not in a, you know, a sanctioned country. And that gold is fully transferable on a bearer basis. So once you buy it, right, you buy the gold. If you don't take delivery of it, you have the token. You do whatever you want with the token. You can give it to your grandchild. You can sell it to your neighbor. You can trade it on an exchange. You can lose it. You can um, save it for future generations. You can pledge it, right, as a security um, or have someone take a lien upon it. Do whatever you want. So with the go through 15 different money. I'm sorry. With the, I don't with the, want it. Go ahead. Would the price be pegged to gold? So when the, when gold goes up, the value of the token <laughs> would go up as well then? Well, there's no pegging the price. The token represents, let's take it out of the crypto world. Okay, okay you buy gold, okay, you put it in the vault, and uh, the owner of the vault gives you this paper certificate, right? And this is how you come and get your gold back. This paper certificate is what you bought from us. Okay. Okay. This certificate is not pegged to the price of gold. So I can go and sell this paper certificate to someone across the street for 50 cents on a dollar, okay? That means that the person across the street bought it for six hundred dollars versus twelve hundred. Now, the smart person who sees this price go down to six hundred, who buys all the paper they can get their hands on, and then they redeem it for gold. You just bought gold at fifty cents on a dollar. So the value of this certificate will always be the price of gold minus okay. expenses. The price of the certificate is a different story. Price does not equal value. In a perfect world, it does, but the world is not perfect. Right. No, it definitely isn't perfect. <laughs> now, now, let me add to that. With that scenario, what we've created, instead of having a paper certificate, we can get digital ERC-20 token certificate. We've created the perfect stable token because it doesn't rely upon um, for our promises. It doesn't rely on mathematical algorithms for stability. It relies on simple market greed, okay? <laughs> Anytime this token deviate from the price of gold, somebody has an incentive to go in and drive that price up by buying the tokens up until the price hits the price of gold. If it shoots above the price of gold, everybody has an incentive to sell the token for gold. So now it will stay within a very narrow range and that range would be right about the spot price of gold. Okay. Stable token 101, vastly superior to Tether and anything else out there and fully redeemable on demand for the actual physical. All right. See, I, I've heard I've heard about the very gold thing, but I hadn't had a chance to really get a lot of dig a lot of into it. So I appreciate you explaining that. I think it's an awesome idea to have to have like a commodity based token that the token itself represents the gold. So I think it's a great idea. Now, is there any plans? Because I know that everything is an ERC twenty <laughs> token. Is there any plans to launch your own blockchain? No, no, no. Blockchains are very, very difficult business. It's a lot of work. Um, we do analytics and problem solving. For instance, um, we've created, we solved the problem of stable tokens, and now it's time to move on. So instead of trying to create a blockchain, and there's plenty of blockchains out there, um, um, we move on to solving another problem. After solving the stable pro token problem, we get to solve the problem of moving real-world transactions onto the blockchain. 
when using the stable token and transacting in gold. <clears throat> Um, a good example is you use a smart contract to represent the sale of a house. That house could be purchased with the gold tokens. Um, it could be done in an area that's a very unstable currency regime, Venezuela, Zimbabwe, DRC, et cetera, you know, you, you name it. And now they have it, Turkey. Now you have instant stability in a store value, which is VE gold. You run through smart contracts. And now, not only do you have you solve the currency stability issue, you also solve the credit risk issue, okay? And smart contracts are forced to execute as the computer code um, dictates. So these are problems that Veritasium solves. We run on top of the blockchain and then we definitely don't get in the blockchain business. We are blockchain agnostic though. So if something comes up that is better from a risk reward perspective than Ethereum, we simply port over. Um, but that's easier said than done in terms of being better. So we don't have any favorites, we, but we just do what we feel is uh, best for the company. Okay. No, I totally respect that. And one of the things I really like about Veritasium is the fact that you guys are trying to disrupt the capital markets industry. And one of the things that I was really curious about was how you're planning on trying to disrupt that market, being that it's such an old club per se. And I know that eliminating the middleman adds a lot of money into the equation for the other players, but that's been such a big part of the old game how do you plan on um, making Veritasium replace this and actually disrupt these markets that are currently existing? Well, the middleman benefits by making money. And whenever you make money, somebody lost money somewhere. It's just, you know, the way the world works is zero sum game. So we go to those entities that are losing money to the middleman, okay? And the ones that are actually losing money, not the ones that are paying money for value, because it, Veritasium, peer-to-peer -peer capital markets don't eliminate middlemen in totality. They eliminate rent seekers. So they eliminate the guys who take this $1,200 certificate and they charge you $4,400 for it, right? But they're only giving you $1,200 of value. Right. Okay, that's a rent seeker. Veritasium takes them out of the equation, okay? That is not to be confused with your criminal attorney who tries to get you out of, uh, you know, running a red light and killing somebody's dog, okay? He has a specific skill and a specific value, and he delivers upon it. Eliminating him means you're in trouble, okay? So you need him. So those guys, those true um, deliverers of value are always going to have a place. It's the rent seekers that we eliminate. If you eliminate rent seeking and you put money in the pocket, of a powerful participant, a powerful participant will not only appreciate it, but will want it to happen again. Okay, so whenever you make a powerful enemy, you have to make sure you make a requisite powerful friend at the same time. Okay, as everybody does that, then you change the paradigm, you change the business model, and it's no longer about making enemies or friends, it's about changing the way business is done. Okay, you compress margins, which means you're taking profit out of someone else's pocket, but when you compress margins, you put the profit in somebody else's pocket. Okay, and that's how Google got started. You know, in the beginning, Google sort of was a search engine. A lot of people didn't take it seriously. Now it's one of the most powerful entities in the world, and it has destroyed multiple industries simply by compressing margins. But they don't just compress margins, they make other people happy. When was the last time you read the classified ads in the newspaper? It's been a long time. <laughs> okay. Now, the newspaper industry didn't take out Google. Google took out the newspaper industry. Are you happy about that? In, in some ways. I mean, some ways I like the old reading of the newspaper, but it is convenient to have everything electronically. But I, right. I do love the creative destruction. I'm a business administration student, and that, that's what I see Veritasium as. That's a business term, the creative destruction. And that's kind of what I see you guys as doing. Every, every major paradigm shift experience is one. Well. It's the way the world moves forward. Yeah, and I, and I definitely see this technology as being able to allow us to change the world in a better manner, which I think is extremely important considering the, the corrupt systems that we have going on today. We're active in four different countries on three different continents and expanding. So um, we have some big things coming up and we're talking to some pretty big boys who will be implementing the technology. So um, I think first quarter of next year, barring any unforeseen unpleasant surprises will be very strong for us and will show 
the world that uh, the new paradigm is not only unavoidable, but will bring you know the world to a better place in terms of meritorious capitalism. In other words, you know those who deserve it get it. Right. Is there any, is there anything that you would like to share about some of the future plans that are coming up with Veritasium? Um, well, one very simple: um, the Veda is um, extremely disruptive, and so not necessarily clear cut from a regulatory perspective in many issues, but we've found in future sections who will let it run. Um, the VEGO product is also extremely disruptive, but um, legal in most entities that have uh, um, that are derived from UK English common law or American law. Um, we plan to take digital liquid gold and inject it in multiple economies and make it common use. Um, that is a big thing because now you could bring smart contracts into play for everyday usage, okay? And you don't have to worry about wild swings. The VE gold decouples crypto from wild volatility assets such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, etc. Bitcoin could drop 40%, Ethereum could drop 50%. Only a fool will allow their um, VE gold to drop 50% or anything. And if it does, then those who are not fools will come in and buy it all up. Um, that stable currency mixed with the ability to use smart contracts in real life everyday um, transactions means that there's a new world coming and anybody who wants to see it works, if you come by veritasium.com, read the front page, um, click the VE assets link and um, I'm going on a road tour, multiple continents again and I'll bring VE assets and I'm giving away grams at a time to show people how it works or I'm entering into transactions actually paying for gold, and, and we work anywhere from one gram increments, um, increments all the way up to kilograms. Okay, that's awesome. And all that sounds great. I like the idea. So, Reggie, I really honestly appreciate you taking the time to do this interview. And I'm going to have links down below so that all the audience and listeners can definitely check out Veritasium and see what this platform is all about and how Ver Veritasium is planning to disrupt the capital markets game. So I do encourage all the World Alternative Media listeners to check out my personal YouTube page. It's two words, Rice Crypto. So check that out, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and check out my past content. As always, make sure you subscribe to World Alternative Media, hit that like button, comment, and share with your friends. And I encourage you, be the change by practicing change.